welcome to a couple of instigators. It's just me and Jen tonight. Me and Jen. Hey. Yes, it's been a well. We're, it's been a couple weeks since we've recorded, so we have built up a ton of news. Um, yeah, we'll have Margaret on next week with an update on her boobies and. Uh, That's what we got so far. A lot of reality news going on though, right? Right now, crazy reality news. Yeah, lots of good reality news. Um, did you want to? Uh, what are we starting with? With the far as reality, did you watch the Stassi thing today? I watched some of it uh, at work. Yes, I did. I certainly did. Um, What? Okay. Let's start with Vanderpump. Do you think, are they doing a new season number one? I think probably. Okay. Because I have a feeling that that show's on its way out regardless. Um, it may be, but look at Housewives and all of that. Like they mm-hmm. just keep changing the cast up all the time. Like Vanderpump's got to be one of the only shows that's been pretty well the same cast all along. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna try it, like try up a new group of people and see how they do. Right. So you think they'll? Okay. Yeah. So you're thinking they're just gonna hire some new wait staff at Sir and just keep on going with these new people. I think so, so. Vanderpump did have a couple of those new young guys on, but they got canceled for uh, racist stuff, homophobic tweets or something. I don't know. Yeah. They're, something. Like- really right. old stuff though like yeah 10 years so, ago. okay like, so they got canceled gone and then Stassi um got canceled for three she got canceled for I guess the faith thing okay it yeah coming out that she had called the cops on faith is what she ultimately got canceled for but mm-hmm. I think as everybody knows that sort of started like a tumble of like all her past crap coming out. Right, right. Um, this little Nazi chic photo shoot. Yes, right. And, she- um, who cares about African Americans at the Oscars? They complain too much. That, oh, <laughs> that I did not. <laughs> oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, I remember? And I think it was Jada Pinkett was leading it that year, the Oscars, that uh uh-huh. kids are like. <laughs> Crazy, disproportionately underrepresented um, at the Oscars for getting awards and stuff. And Stassi put out a tweet like, "Who cares about the African Americans? Like everybody has issues." Type of thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I did not know it that. Bad. Okay, so yeah, and you know, I I. <laughs> Cancel culture, culture, though, I I mean, I have mixed feelings on it. I think that it's, some of it can be a little bit ridiculous. Um, I, because I mean, I think I could get canceled pretty easy. (laughs) Oh, sure. But I think, I mean, that's a change when you're put yourself in the spotlight, right? Like, Mm -hmm. and there's how many people that are in the spotlight that just aren't doing shitty things? Yeah, I mean, I feel like... Like, is anybody going after Reese Witherspoon to cancel her for something? Is anybody going after Halle Berry to cancel her for something? No, because they're not shitty people. You do shitty things, you get shitty prizes. Yeah. I, right, I It's not like they're just make about you Mm -hmm. yeah no yeah yeah I get that I do but for me like wanting to cancel Jimmy Fallon because he was on SNL many years ago in blackface doing an impersonation of Chris Rock and they were calling for him to be canceled this was like 20 years later and I'm like thinking like number one he was on a show the skit was written that was his job was to and it do- was 20 years ago yeah so 
It was like Trudeau wearing blackface to the Halloween party 20 years ago. Like, people are like, oh, he's racist and all that. Okay, yeah, it was a terrible decision. But, but it was like 20 years ago when people weren't nearly as aware then. And Right, right. To compare so, it to what people know and think mm-hmm. and feel now, I don't right. think that's fair. Now, being in the last five years or so you doing that stuff, I just find it very hard for people to play that, oh, I didn't know or... right was too young or yes I right I understand that so so she pretty much went on her uh, apology I think this is the was, time uh, she's know, spoken out right this was supposed to be her apology uh you know in number, number <laughs> all right my first thought is she's really not that big is she or do I like under my underestimating like how many fans that she has no because- we listen to Taylor's show that's the only reason I know who she is mm-hmm. literally nobody else in my life knows who she is or nobody watch- watches Vanderpump nobody what listens to her podcast like she's just an unknown person outside of that bubble at least in my world well uh, so, well my daughter is like loves her because she watches Vanderpump and she's a 27 year old, you know? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I watched that show on and off. It's one of, one of the, there's a couple on Bravo. I don't watch. One is Vanderpump. I watched um, the whole during quarantine once they got fired. Cause I wanted to know what was going on and what it was all about. So I watched yes. the whole, all shit shows start to finish. Okay, you got a lot of energy. Yeah, I, I just, I've watched it on and off and it just is kind of boring. So I never really, you know, got got into it that much. Um, uh, Here, find out who actually listens to the podcast and watching um, Housewives in New York right now. Mm-hmm. Nobody knows that. So we'll see if anybody listens to the podcast and comes back and tells me that they know I'm watching that. Yeah. That's the secret. <laughs> yeah. So you think it's coming back on, which obviously they haven't announced that the show isn't coming back. But so, yeah, so the, she, she went on her apology today and I watched, um, you know, in and out. I was at work, but I thought that she looked very... Um, confused and, and fake, honestly. Not I don't I mean I I hate to say fake. Rehearsed? Is that a, that what I'm thinking maybe? Rehearsed. Yeah, I think not I that can't. it wasn't coming from her heart, which you know what I mean? I'm I can't judge that, but it looked very rehearsed. I think she had a couple of good buzz lines that she here, hang on one sec. Where's the mic on this thing? Let's see if this works. Whoa, no, I don't want that. For 400 years. Uh, it, all lives matter. Can't, all lives can't matter until black lives matter. And that's something that I've, I've realized. Really, Stassi? Is that something that you've just realized? Like, you didn't just go read that on a t-shirt while you were walking down the street? Like, that just occurred to you? I mean, I guess the whole part of why this interview apology was intriguing to me is because they said she hired a diversity coach to teach her about racism and that was like okay that's that's crazy and I thought that maybe I was the only person but the woman interviewing her kind of thought that was a little crazy too yeah, like it's a weekly class on Zoom and she gets like a quiz at the end of it. Like what? That, are you, that what are you doing? Uh do it's just it's so much. It's so much. Um yeah. I, I, okay, so I honestly I feel bad for her. Everything is ripped out from underneath her. Um, I don't know that it was fair that this is all stuff from like a couple years ago. Like, had she just done it and it came up, like, Mm -hmm. it's a lot of bad behavior over time, I guess. Right. It it is definitely, um, I think she she was sort of in a lose-lose situation doing this interview, any interview, like, you know, what? no, I don't, Jen, I have to disagree with you. I feel like. She 
should have known what was going to be asked of her. It just was a very sloppy. She looked very uncomfortable, very in the headlights. rehearsed. Very, yeah, it was, it was very, ugh, yeah, it was. I wonder if they told her she was going to get super easy questions or an idea of the questions and then yeah. threw other ones at her. But yeah, I just didn't, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it was not good. I don't know, but you know, and then a part of me feels like, well, you know, who am I to speak? I'm not, I'm not a black uh, a black person and you know what I mean who am I to judge her sincerity um you know she's on not apologizing to me you know so um I gotta tell you I hate to say I don't think when she called like you know, well, let's just fill on in the listeners the original uh, the, the 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 one that broke the back of the camel as they would say was her last thing she did was call the police on somebody who was on her show um, because she thought that she had stolen a leather jacket and it was a uh, African-American woman. What was her name? Faith. Faith. Okay. Yeah. And they were accusing her of stealing a leather jacket. Right. And um, yeah, something like credit cards, I think all kinds of stuff. Oh, okay. See, there so- was an art- in the paper about a black mm-hmm. woman that had been stealing stuff and they decided that it was her and supposedly they got a bunch of texts from friends and stuff mm-hmm. um, yeah uh, that, yeah no, i mean so do i think stassi calling the police on that was a racist thing honestly no i don't i truly think that she thought I agree when she said that I was on a reality show that you need to bring the drama, basically. You know what I mean? That that's, they need to bring the drama. I feel like, I honestly, I don't think she understood that you putting a black person's life in danger when you call the police on them. No. I don't think, I don't think like she grasped that at all, Jen. No. And, and I honestly, I don't think there was anything malicious about what she right. did don't think she went out and said, um, I'm going to do this because she's a black woman and we're going to go after her. I think right. she was just being a snotty little bitch and went yep. after her. But the issue is there's, there could have been much worse repercussions from them showing up at Faith's house as opposed to showing up at Ariana's house. You right. Know what I mean? Exactly. Um, that's problem. And that's actually what I'm wondering about these reality shows like and she said that they may hold on listen to this for one sec what's her name is space and when you're on a show like band and pump rules it's your existence on that show is kind of dependent on sticking your nose in other people's conflict or creating conflict you know, that might be woven into a storyline and and not to say this is completely my fault because it, I, I was absolutely wrong um so she's basically saying that they exaggerated it for the storyline of the show mm-hmm. but that's actually affecting a person's life like oh yeah absolutely but Was Faith on the show, like, a paid person on, or was she just a walk-on? Because I didn't see No, no, I don't even know how any of that works. Okay. Um, no, 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 she was in the credits. Oh, okay. I'm almost, I'm almost certain that she was in the credits. hmm Yeah, I... But I, that, that Tamron says to her at one point, because... They called the cops, and then a year later is when she went on Bitch Bible and said, did, did the podcast and said, oh, ha, ha, we were trying to, like, solve a crime and called the cops because this woman is stealing and everything. And she and Tamron says to her, like, there was a year between point A and point B. Like, did you really think you couldn't have possibly thought she was still guilty after that year? Like, you're filming with her. She's walking around. 